Yep. So they have changed a bit, and that's... Uh... Yeah, like I said, that is definitely good. As somebody yeah. who is a formal critic of them, because I... I, I won't lie, I, I, they pissed me off every time they would just blame... You don't ever, as a company, you never blame your freaking fan base. What intelligence! Like, why would you think that's a good idea? That's not a good idea to blame your fan base. Yeah, and I understand they make their most money in Japan, but yeah, if, I mean, if, it, it, if they just make a profit of, of a few thousand dollars in Europe and the USA, I know it will not be as much, never as much as in the, in the USA, but just to, 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 to please the people and make their name, uh, I, I can understand if they make a loss on games each time, then I would as, as well say, well, okay, uh, we're gonna stop doing this because we are losing money. But oh, if they already make a few thousand dollars, then uh, okay, let's do this and, and make the people happy over there. As long as we don't lose money, why not? Well, I mean, another thing back then, in those days, I mean, companies even like Atlas and NIS have approached them saying like, Hey, we'd like to publish your game in America, and then it's like, no. It's like, that would be absolute no loss of money, because you wouldn't be the one doing any translating or anything. Yep. And they would be at the tour risk, and they would have to pay you to license it there, so all there would be for them would be profit. So it's like, why the fuck? What, it's like, it's like they were on this whole, I'm not trying to say it's why, but it just felt like they were just hating on America. I don't, I don't know, it's just... It's kind of like what happened with the Shining Force fan base, where the court guy who's making the sh been making the Shining Force uh, game, like the Shining series, uh, for the last several years, and like the fan base in the West tried to reach out to Sega in Japan, showing that you know there's still a fan base here, we'd like some games that, and he actually like had this giant. It, it's a long, complicated story, but put short, he basically called all the people on the Shining fan page, fan page. that's for, like, the Western world, a bunch of trolls and shit, so it's like, it's like, I don't know, that, that's the shit you don't do to your fan base, it's, just, it's like, what what the hell do you think you're doing? It's like, you don't yeah. shaft on the people, or actually, you're paying customers, I, I don't know, not that. Shiny games have been coming to America for the last several years. We haven't gotten any. But that's all on those subjects. But, um. Yeah. Uh, are you a fan of One Piece? A what? One Piece. It's an anime about a pirate. No, I have not. Um, I Basically, I have no anime experience myself at all. Oh, oh, well, uh, One Piece is getting an RPG for the uh, 3DS, and uh, Namco Bandai has so far announced that it is going to be coming to Europe and America, but there was no word on whether it's going to be a physical release or not. So, um, all we know is it's going to be coming to Europe and America, and probably Japan too, but, um, but... In some form we're getting it, it's an RPG that's going to start at the beginning of One Piece. And uh, it looks pretty good so far, it looks interesting. Um, I have not played a lot of One Piece games. Uh, I know Remote RPG has reviewed some of the fighting games. I, I've i never really been interested in anime fighting games, I don't know. It's, it seems like such a overdone thing with the anime game. It's like, let's make a fighting game! I mean, there's even... Mobile Suit Gundam fighting game. It's like any anime has a fighting game. It's mm -hmm. it's like I, I don't. Know. But um, I'm really interested in the title, and I'm excited, and I really hope it has a physical portion because it would definitely not be like much better than just it being pure digital. And since Namco Bandai's been doing so well, I have very strong hopes that it will be physical. Um, yeah. I will be very pissed, sadly, if it if it don't. But uh, but I'm not sure if you were gonna be interested in that. Um, might be something worth checking out since it starts at the beginning of the 
the story, so you wouldn't really feel like you're like, what the fuck's going on, kind of thing, if you were to, like, say, play the other game, so... It's gonna be a, a 3DS title, yep. right? Yep, ah. it's a 3DS title. Okay, well, uh, keep me informed, or keep us informed, uh... Yeah, oh. I definitely... So far, as far as I'm aware, there are no real dates or anything for Europe or North America yet, but it's just been announced that they're gonna bring it. Mm-hmm. So, like I said, there's not even information whether there's gonna be a physical version, so don't really know too much on that, but I think that's very good news for everyone in the Western world. Now, something that is completely for the power area, well, actually, technically it is for the U.S., but I'd say it's not as big for the U.S., but it does apply because it has to do with Steam. Um, Ghost Light, which, um, as you know, uh, have at least several cliche and uh, niche titles in your area of the world, um, mm-hmm. they, if... In case if you want to well, they were putting uh, Weko of the August War, the uh, Generation War, uh, as it's now verified that more quickly, uh, Generation War, it, that's accurate, right? Yes, that's the first one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they they uh, have been putting that on Steam in case you want to uh, wear of that. Um, it's coming out on Steam on October 3rd. Um, and uh, I think right now you can actually uh, pre-order it for a slight discount. By the way. Let's see if I can find it. And Steam means we can play it on the PC yeah, with the mouse? Yeah, it and... is yeah. a PC version of the game. And the reason mm-hmm. I think this is more interesting to you is because it's the uh, version America got. Well... Days don't ah. pass every time you enter a quest area. Oh, Wait when you do yeah. the story-related event quest area. Ah. So I'm sure a lot of your a lot of power area people will be very happy about that because, uh, well, it has to probably suck hell that you can't really level grind that easily. Mm-hmm. So oh, that's a good game to recommend uh, <clears throat> to my father. And, uh, yes, it is, uh, discounted 20% off if you pre-order it before October 3rd in any region. Um, for America, that would be currently fifteen ninety nine for the title. And if you pre-purchase it, you get a number of free DLC. You get, uh, Upgrade Pack 1 and 2, Doll Things Pack, Fallen Angel Pack, Magic Vital Pack, Legendary Monster Pack and the Basic Eventual Pack. Uh, and that awful also ends on October 4th. So if you pre it, you get 25% of uh, 20% off in a bunch of free DLC cards. Oh, I'm definitely gonna mention that in my next uh, phone call. Uh, because my, my, yeah, my father is, is, is also kind of gamer. He's more like, uh, he played Sims 3 for like one year, yeah, continuously. And two weeks ago, I called my father and um, I said, "Hey, do you did you know that uh, there's an X, a new XCOM game for uh, for the PC? Because he only has a PC, of yeah. course. And uh, he still has a physical copy of the old XCOM, uh, uh, the third XCOM. Oh, that's, from the that's uh, nice. I, I yeah. looked at some of those on online it's kind of hard to actually find some of the old XCOM mm. stuff because mm. I've really I've been trying out the game for Force the Questions and I'm really liking it it's like I have all you know I have this giant list of games that would like to do lots of plays and it just like went yeah. and it's such a time investing well a map takes so much time to complete a map yeah, I so. found it pretty quick so far, but then again, oh, I'm yeah. only like, uh, not really sure how to work forward to the question. It's not like it really has mission numbers. I just stopped like a bomb from exploding in, on an area of bridge. I wouldn't say it's too far in. 
but the maps do get a lot, lot bigger. Yeah, I have then... known some of the maps look big, but most of the yeah. action hasn't took place across all of it. Like, hmm. it's mm -hmm. a lot of emptiness, so I'm assuming some yeah. of the maps get reused, and I would assume, like, like, I will assume like too. they expand out. Yeah. And, and the good thing about the old XCOMs was that uh, each time you get at an area, the maps were randomly r randomly generated. So that meant huge maps, and each time they were different. And yeah, I had so good memories, of course, of, of the old XCOM. And this XCOM is not bad. It's 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 a very okay XCOM game. It's it's not like the old XCOM, of course, but. Yeah, and then, yeah. like, I've seen, like, Angry Joe and Spoonie One videos, because, um, well, they, they probably some of the biggest critics that were pissed off about the Thor's Porcelain, well, at the time, Thor's Porcelain Shooter, but the final product of it came out as Thor's Porcelain, and mm -hmm. they were so excited when they announced the enemy unknown, they were just like, oh yeah, and so, you know, they were like the biggest quicks that were going to be yeah. Yeah. probably the most viewed videos for said topic, and uh, they've had their criticism, but overall they said, you know, that they're pretty good, so. Yeah, yeah, and that's, that's, that's enough, it's, it's pretty good. Yeah, and I, I was playing it, so I was like, yeah. well, hell, if this game's this much fun to me, I wonder what the fuck the old games are going to be like, addicted? Addicting? Mm. <laughs> the, 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 the build basing, uh, the building of the base yeah. was much more advanced. Ooh. And the battles themselves, each unit had time units, and movement and shooting each took points from time units, and you had units with lots of time units but then they were not as strong as in shooting but you can train that of course so it was much different in in in, in, in tactics on the map uh, but yeah again uh, xcom uh, the new one is uh, is not bad i still have to continue playing uh, but uh, it's 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 gone in in the corner of this okay this game i have to continue playing someday because, yeah, uh, enjoying Xenoblade Chronicles, it's, uh, well, each time I play it, it comes higher in my top 10 of favorite games. Oh, and you still barely touch the sword, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, unbelievable. I just completed that monster in the, uh, in the tomb, High Entia tomb. Yeah. So, uh... And you're still barely touching the sword, is you yeah, you're, great. You're getting now, but you still, still, it's surprising how much the game there is, considering, you know, everyone lives on two giant mech creature bio mm -hmm. body things. Yeah, yeah. I, I really have to say they definitely made a very nice long, but not, it didn't feel like it was too long to me, but, you know, that's always a subjective thing, so I, mm -hmm. I, I feel very nicely paced game. That, that kind of has more to do with pacing the story and everything nicely. Well, it doesn't feel like it's trying to purposely fad, fadding the game up. But so, what's the next topic on our list? <laughs> well, let's see. Um, I don't know if you ever played uh, Big with the Story or Final Fantasy Tactics, the original Tactics. If you mean the original tactics on the PlayStation 1, then yeah. it's a yes. Yeah. Uh, there is recent news that the uh, the major guy who did uh, a lot of this stuff on Vagrant Story and Final Fantasy Tactics, he's going to work on a new game, which uh, initially I was going to be very happy about until I heard what they're going to be on. Mobile devices. <laughs> it's not what? They're going to be on mobile devices. It's going to oh be a God. series called The Unsung Story. And uh, they, it will be a series of games on mobile devices that will have different gameplay. 
The first one is going to be a tactics game. Um, and it's going to be called Unsung Hero Tale of the Guardians. Um, I, I'm not like, I'm not trying to be mean or anything to mobile devices and tablets, but it's not really something it interests I understandably everything's going to have exclusive titles, but it, it always makes me sad when there's something interesting I feel that's going to be an exclusive mobile phone. But, uh, even more so, because, like, most Japanese mobile phone ga games don't even come out of Japan. Mm. So, I don't even know if there's any chance of them, uh, even leaving Japan, but... Yeah, Japan has a pretty big mobile market. Yeah. Yeah. But, eh. But, eh, at least he's still doing some stuff, I mean, but... Uh, now, uh, something else, I don't know how much, uh, you really care much about Final Fantasy these days, uh, in Dragon Quest, but, uh, Square Enix has announced a very interesting crossover system they're doing with Lightning Returns, Final Fantasy XI, Dragon Quest X, and Final Fantasy XIV. Um, the crossover with Lightning Returns is, uh, in Lightning Returns, you can do a few quests and get items and stuff for 14. And, uh, in 14, there will be a unique quest where you can actually meet Lightning and fight Poseidon, uh, in Final Fantasy 14. Then there's another crossover that's directly between 14, 11, and Dragon Quest 10, where they'll have uh, a few monsters and characters cross over into their worlds. Uh, apparently, Taru's are going to be evading uh, Final Fantasy 10, Slimes will be evading 11, and, and, and there's some screenshots. If you look it up, you can find some screenshots about it. Uh, it shows some monsters and characters crossing over Final Fantasy 14, Moogles, all crossing over into a, diff a few different areas, so it's it's kind of an interesting crossover idea. Uh, as a very vivid Final Fantasy XI player, uh, I I could see the appeal of beating uh, everyone's crazy mage Taru character uh, in different lands. Uh, she is uh, quite bizarrely insane. <laughs> Full domination, anyone? But, uh, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, but obviously all except for Lightning's Return or MMO. So, like I said, I wasn't really sure if that would interest you personally. But uh, uh, I look forward to a lot of the Eleven content from it. Um, I've been meaning to get back to Eleven with the new expansion that came out. I barely played it. Just been busy with other stuff. And I really do want to play Dragon Quest Ten, so everyone keep telling Square Enix to bring the damn fucking thing over. <laughs> yeah, but then it will be Go on ahead. the Wii U. Then it will be on the Wii U, right? Um, it's being put on the PC right now. As for if America will even get any of them, if we do, the likelihood is we'll at least get the PC version. Uh, any others would be asking for a lot. It's possible, but I mean, if we want to get any of them, if they're going to be smart about it, let's be honest, the odds are they would do the PC version, because that's where most MMOs are, and in the Western world, well, more MMO players are versus Japan. Because Japan actually isn't very big on MMOs. I mean, they have them, but... There's definitely a big old MMO market in America and then Japan, so the odds are if we're gonna get only one portion, it would be the PC portion that the process is doing. I I think that will be the smart move to make it indeed if they are able to make it on a PC. Uh, more people will play and buy it on the PC than on the Wii U, uh, for example. Also, I would mind the Wii U portion, though, I, I actually would be interested in it, but 
considering how all the publishers are shutting the damn thing, I I don't know what Square Enix's yeah. stance is really on that, so... Uh, but, um... Final Fantasy fourteen, I don't know, that, that whole debacle just made me so uninterested in it, like... Finally get a PS3 version, like, almost when the damn console's kicking over the die over the 14, uh, on the PS4, I, like, because at the time, I got the limited edition PC version, but that's only because they, GameStop, after all the backlash and shit, that was for sale in a damn bid for 20 bucks, so I was like, yeah, why not? But at the time, my PC wasn't powerful enough to play it, so I had to keep waiting for the PS3 version. It just kept waiting and waiting, and devil god, you know, they shut the server down, did the whole, well, we born crap, and that just, because the story, like, basically what they did is they, they made a, the Realms Were Born is a new story, like, there was a in boss and everything to, uh, to the original Final Fantasy XIV, and that leads into Realms Were Born, but we can basically never experience that content ever. That, that story is gone. It, it can never be experienced again by us. And that pisses the fuck off out of me. That's why I hate Cataclysm. And World of Warcraft, it, it destroyed multiple yeah. story elements, wades and shit. Like, yeah. add on to it, but don't destroy the original shit. Like, uh. yeah. But that's just, that's just. It's it with and with Cataclysm as well. The 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 dungeons in in from one to sixty. Uh, indeed, they are all such so made so much different and more easy. It's now just a walkthrough with a party. You 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 go in 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 the dungeon. You run inside and you kill everything. You kill the embers and back we go. And yeah, and you just do it over and over again for epics for the little whiny baby, yeah. so they can look. Oh, I'm so awesome and shit. But but all the strategy and difficulty has been removed. It's just a walk in the park, and we're gonna kill everything, and then... Oh, oh so... I, I wouldn't say it's been moved. I'd say it's shifted to the the stupid players you get through pugs. <laughs> it's like, yeah. if you do random but... pugs and shit, there, there was your difficulty. Have more random idiots. That's how you make raids yeah. more difficult. Yeah, but they, they dumped down the dungeon's difficulty for the idiot pug groups, so that if you have a, a, a normal group... It's it, that removed so much fun. It, it, it's not. It's not hard anymore. Yeah, I mean, it, once just, you got a group of people who know what the fuck they're doing, and hopefully yeah. have as few pugs as humanly possible. A lot of it's just not hard. I mean, I I was a weight healer. I was a druid, and you know, I have to keep basically everyone alive because druid druid heals usually get assigned to keeping the weighed up and you know like uh priests usually get assigned to like the tanks so uh you know i i had to focus on that a lot while avoiding everything and shit so and definitely when it came to weighing the pug the shit it was so annoying because they would just stand and shit I, I remember doing like wrath the lich king's final weight for uh, killing the lich king and that putricide fight, people get the fuck out of the slime shit. It's like, <laughs> but that—that's my woes as a hero. Mm -hmm. And basically, that's why I don't go Final Fantasy fourteen. The World of Warcraft was actually Realms Reborn looks less interesting to me because it its interface is. Uh, it looks like a hot bar interface, like World of Warcraft. They're like, what the fuck? Yeah, but you only have 16 skills. You can, uh, uh, 8 times 2, yeah, 16. So, that's, and that's probably another disappointment. When they are making 
uh, MMORPG's for the PC and for gaming platforms. To my opinion, that thumbs it down so much. If 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 they keep it for the PC with the, with the keyboard and and the mouse, but if they want to make such a game for a controller and a gaming console, they have to make such. Um, they have to, to my opinion, degrade the game, like like with Skyrim, that's also a game I, I did not like. It, it, when you play it on a PC, it, it feels like a console RPG. And Actually, that kind of so, goes into the whole thing where uh, a lot of uh, console games have been poured to the PC more than vice versa. Like, I remember, uh, um, what's his name? I kind of remember his name, but he's like a new British popular person. Uh, Total Biscuit, yeah, Total Biscuit, um, the critical Brit. Um, he was actually talking about one video where um, basically, like, he's saying the PC market for a lot of games was kind of sucking in a way because the PC, like, for a lot of hype games, will ports of the console when like in the older days they would con- they would da- downgrade a PC version to a console but it seems like mm. nowadays they're just porting the like Dark Souls had that exact same problem they just ported the console version onto the PC and a lot of people bitched that the- it wasn't taking advantage of the PC yeah. software and stuff yeah yeah and I, I think that kind of goes in exactly what you're saying, that um, it it just doesn't... To PC people, I mean, I, I pulled a lot of them complain about stuff like that, where it's just like the flame... I mean, I don't, want, I don't really like talking about specs and flame for a second and stuff. I just no, want an no. enjoyable game, but, mm-hmm. uh, you know, you definitely hear about that stuff all the time if you hang around a lot of PC people. Yeah. And for me, uh, MMORPG, I would prefer that to play it on the PC as well. And if you have played World of Warcraft, that has tons and dozens and dozens of skills. The taskbar of 10 was not enough. (laughs) Oh, it was... Unless unless Mr. Pandora have added more or something. Mm -hmm. Because I remember when Cataclysm came out, they fucking... Like, I never woke, fucking just like, what happened to this skill, and this skill, and yeah. this, and this, what the... Yeah. And, yeah, like, I'm they changed three. Paladin tanking and something like that. Where is my skill tree that that's still... How can you remove the skill tree is still... I guess, <laughs> such just, a mistake. It's, it's also why I quitted World of Warcraft. I got sick of this whole... Oh, you know, every, like, three, four months, let's, let's just reset the entire fucking game, have a reward, and how to fucking play the game. Now, I'm sure everyone will love doing that. I, I don't know, I don't, I don't like that. I can, I can understand little changes in yeah, the Yeah, little changes, too. balances, yeah. I understand that. Yeah. But just fucking out the whole thing, throwing in a trash bin, and throwing a yeah. whole new system... Yeah, I th- I mean I'm paying money to play this, you know. Like, I think if I wasn't enjoying the current system, I would fucking leave. Which is why I fucking left because I wasn't yeah. enjoying it anymore. <laughs> if I want to enjoy World of Warcraft again, it would have it would be on a private server, and then it's free cataclysm back to three point three point five with a skill tree, and then you only had. Uh, Outlands and Northrend, and that's it. And that's more than that's more than enough. And with the old skill tree, if I would go back to World of Warcraft, it would be private server. Yeah, yeah. I will not uh, because now is there, there's another expansion coming, right? Well, considering Mr. Pandora's final boss, I think is out now. I heard about the final boss. Did you hear about it? There's a new island coming out for World of Warcraft. Oh, a complete I was just new island. About the final boss. <laughs> I have no clue. It 
You know the guy that Thrall left in charge of Ogomar doing Cataclysm? I can't remember his name, he's like the adopted son of his brother from Warcraft 3. It's like bomb women, it's something related to his father. Uh, I can't remember his name, but you know, he was like, always like, THE ALLIANCE SUCK, WE NEED A MORTAL ON THE FLOOR, be like, no, 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 that, that's not what I'm talking about. You know who I'm talking about? <laughs> 